Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit a lot of stories again, from a record weather event to astronomy to geophysical science of Earth changes and earthquake forcing. But we also have a growing risk on the sun we're watching very closely, which you saw in last night's short video. The last 24 hours on the sun included filament releases, minor M-class solar flares, a small centralized coronal hole. But the bigger watch is at the complex and growing sunspot group on the south. So far it has been quiet, but it's hard to see that continuing. Here is the birth and current growth over the last 36 to 48 hours. Significant development to the point where it is now the largest sunspot group on the Earth-facing side of the sun. It seems to be biding its time for now, but it will be directly facing Earth tomorrow night and into the weekend. Eyes are on it. Folks, it takes quite an event to break a rain record in Florida, especially without something like a major hurricane. The severe to extreme events continue showing up around the world, and that is likely to continue. Heading out to space next, where Chandra's looking at all the nearby stars to determine which ones are not only likely to have exoplanets, but which stars are not so furiously active as to destroy the atmospheres of those exoplanets. They are mapping that now. Interesting one out about hypervelocity stars ejected from stability by a Nova event interaction. They say one has gone so far off the rails, it may escape the galaxy entirely. Of significant interest is a perfectly aligned disk and jet system in a young stellar binary. Tough to achieve such a phenomenal match of geometry without electromagnetic forces controlling the formation and development of the system. Gravity simply wouldn't do that. Excellent study here, showing how vulnerable the AMOC is to disruption. Yes, that same one that can cause rapid ice age conditions. The same one weakening right now. The same one thought to collapse in the coming years, and the same one that will be even more impacted when the Beaufort Gyre releases. Last but not least, Every magnitude 7 earthquake on record in the country of Turkey followed a geomagnetic storm where the polar cusp was directly overhead and allowed solar plasma to pour into the Earth system directly over the earthquake zone in the days to weeks preceding the event. The papers on solar impact on earthquake activity have surged this year to a level never seen in the journals before. We're only about halfway through it. We greatly appreciate your support. Got eyes on those sunspots. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.